what's up? It's your boy Smoke Joe Star, aka Smoke Man Joe, aka L. And we back with another video. I know it's been a minute since I done one with my face in it. That's bars. Minute since I done one with my face in it. Write that shit down. Write that shit the fuck down. It's gonna come up in a battle. Um, got my Mickey Mouse shirt on. Quick plug over what we're doing on Patreon. Five dollars gets you the fan fiction. Uh, Mickey is a villain. In this one, kind of crazy, not going to hold you, kind of insane, but that's not what we're here for. Patreon.com backslash Black Plague Podcast. Check that out. But I just wanted to do like an opinion. I don't, don't want to call it a review of the Tekken 8 characters outfits and what I think of them. So that's kind of where we're at uh, with Asuka. Speaking of fucking Disney shit, this Donald Duck ass outfit. Like I, the more, the more time I've had with it, like, I don't, I don't hate it. Definitely fitting for Oscar. Oscar's had like some kind of strange outfits, like over the course of tech and history. And I don't, they, they seem to get more and more sensible as time goes on. Cause in five, she debuted with like the, the silver jumpsuit with like the blue top and some black boots. And they've just gotten more and more school slash delivery girl since five. I mean, bro, what, why do you, why, what the fuck are these shoes with the fit? That's, that's, that's the gripe. I don't hate it. Like when it, when I first saw it, like, I think I made the same joke that Donald Duck has outfit, but like, I don't hate it. It's like, I guess six, maybe six out of 10. If I had to give it a number. Why is Azu Sena so small? I got all of these renders from the same site. <laughs> and it made Azu Sena small as shit. But I like this fit. Very fitting, very Peruvian, very ethnic. A lot of colors going on in the arms. You got the little tassels going on. Jesus Christ, that's pixelated. A little moon boob right next to the moon pendant. Boob, boob moon. Uh, she got the runners with the little, with the little ornate ornate leaves on the side and some track shoes look like I don't even know which Jordans those are. I was going to make a joke, but I, I don't know. I, whatever you got me, man, Brian. I feel like they played it incredibly safe with Brian. Like he's always had like some sort of bandolier, some grenades, the, the flag on the bicep, he a blood can't rock with that. And then like, Pants and some form of boot. Then, like when I saw it, I thought they had just given him his um Tekken 5 outfit back. Because that this looked like I might throw up an image of the Tekken 5 outfit just to show you how similar that shit looks. But that looks like damn near identical to his five outfit. Got more of course it's a new Tekken game, so we have to have some new scars. Uh we got scars on the arm, the chest, on the is that the it's not the tricep. I almost said tricep. Holy shit. On the fucking, on a shoulder. Um, no new facial scars that I could see for real. Just the same one down the eye and then another one near the eyebrow. It's crazy that this man's a cyborg. I, let me keep my skin, but replace my internals with a perpetual engine. <laughs> Lore, Claudio. The literal part five JoJo's like the man was cold in seven cold here. We got the, we got the dermatitis arm under control, still kept the bands cause it's swag, uh, buckles. Everybody's got more buckles and chains and shit that hangs another one bars, write that down, put that in the notepad. But I, I like the fit. Like I do like that. They gave him like a short sleeve or a short shirt. Um, Little gold trim to kind of offset the white. Dope spats, his little shoes with a little ram's head, ram skull. That's cool as shit. I like I like Claudio's outfit this go around. Hor again, another small render for some reason. Get that together. Horang. This this is like the the best way to bring the Taekwondo fit back, in my opinion, because it was a customization item in seven, like it wasn't part of his default outfits. The, the new outfit and the biker outfit were 
the other two were the two outfits in Tekken 7. So he's got his gi back. Excuse me. He's got his gi back. He's got some sponsors, little patches and everything. They gave him shoes with the fit this time too. And new gloves, all new gloves. That man, that man is a master. Longer hair, times passed. I think he, oh man, the tism's kicking in. Hang on. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. That man's better than Bake was. Cause Bake's belt had six. I forgot what the what the official term for the bars is. It's, it's to signify rank. But Horang has eight and Baek had six. Which makes sense because Horang has a lot of unique moves and he also has some of Baek's best moves. That boy, that boy came up. Look at him. Love that. Love to see it. Jack. This is the most robotic that Jack has ever been and looked, and I'm all here for it. He got the the fat ass Tims, battle worn Tims, steel toe house shoes. That that shit cool. Hold on, I'm gonna back out of his uh, robo penis. Um, he looked like he, every game they've made him look like less and less human. Like since two two. I didn't know that Jack was a robot until I picked the alternate outfit and it was just a full like primed metallic body. And I was like, Oh shit, he's not real. <laughs> and then like every game since then, they just make him look, made him look more and more metallic, more and more robotic. I like this. This is sinister. Even though Jack's not a bad guy, he doesn't have any real will, but I like this. This shit is sinister as fuck. Even the even the mohawk isn't even hair anymore. It's just it's just a metal block. That boy, that boy is a demon. Jin, I am so fucking glad they got rid of his Tekken 7 outfit. That was that man's worst fit, in my opinion. Nigga had the hoodie on, tucked into the pants, and then he had the pants. Tucked into the boots. Like, what were we doing, man? Like, what the fuck were we actually doing in Tekken 7? This is clean. Like, it combines a lot of aspects from his previous outfits. Like, we got the the jacket, the leather jacket that is also has a hood, which is clean. We got the regular gauntlets. They aren't as uh pronounced as they were in 7, because like they look like they had like little little Batman wings like towards the forearm, but I like these star plat still looks like the star platinum gloves. I'm gonna say that forever. We got some cargo pants again, straps that serve no purpose other than design. Love that shit. I'm a sucker for that stupid shit. And we got real boots, not those fucking Pac-Man ass boots that he had in Tekken seven. I man, so many characters had trash fits in Tekken seven that I just didn't rock with bro. Like I hated, I hated Jin's outfit in Tekken 7. June is back and got got the mother the heavenly mother fit. I like this shit so much. I also just realized that Oscar was the only one I gave a rating to, but we're here now, so fuck it. Um nice contrast of colors. Very nice co contrast of colors. Got the black on the shoulders, black belt, black design, black pants, white socks, black shoes. Very very, uh, I don't want to say ethereal, but it's very elegant. This is a very elegant look for her. Somehow, still looks like she did in Tekken 2. That's a whole nother issue with Namco and designing men versus designing women. I, 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 I like the fit <laughs> regardless. All the little gloves too. Got the little, little openings, the little sheer openings on the gloves. Fucks with it. Kazuya. Again, just going back, going back to, to the men being able to age and the women not. Fit is clean. I'm glad we got some coloration, like some variance in the fit color. So we got the jacket that is purple because devil's purple makes sense to me. Uh, we still got the gloves. We still got the vest, the suit underneath. Just all just clean. This is this is a villain. <laughs> this is either a villain or like the snazziest hero you have ever seen in anything. I like it. I like the jacket especially just to offset everything else. Perfect hue of like mauve or indigo purple, whichever shade. King, that boy wrestling. 
I like this look for King. Like it's not, it's not super different from what he normally looks like. Still got the wrestling gear on, knee pads, different colored boots, swag. But they gave him the cape, the cape with the little feathered tassels up top and the um the necklace, like the super fucking fucking Aztec necklace. Dope. Dope design all around. Like I I rocks with that shit, man. That, that shit is clean. Lars, the the pinnacle of anime and absolute god of character design has not had a bad fit yet. And this one is the best one, which is insane. Cause I didn't think they were going to get better than the, uh, than the Tekken seven fit. Cause his fit in Tekken seven was a slit. was a trim down version of his Tekken six fit. Tekken six. He was like super armored. Um, but this one, this one is just fucking clean. We've got, we've ditched the armor outside of on the shoes where it probably matters the most because the electricity and you kick the shit out of folks. Um, this man looks like he looks like a fucking uh, like a Gundam antagonist. And I, as a fan of Gundam, I <laughs> that's my shit. The the neon infinity symbol. Don't know what that means, but it's still cool as shit. Still got the lion across the chest somewhere with the gloves, like insane amounts of latches. Even got the uh, the strap around the thigh with the belt. I told you, the buckles on the back, on the tails of the fucking trench coat. Just clean. Cle- Tell me that this man does not pilot a Gundam that has never known defeat. Look at him. You look at him and tell me that that's not what he pilots. Law. I Law. Law got a very simple upgrade. And it just works. Because he's always had like... The fucking, the train, the skinnies, <laughs> the skinny jeans are like martial arts pants. So that's not new. Uh, same with the shoes. He's always had like martial arts shoes or like sneakers. They gave him a belt and then like a thigh rope, but they, they bandaged the hands and then tied shit around the bandages. That shit just, it just works. It's cool. They also gave him the long hair again. He had that shit since like two, but I, I like the new look. It's it's really simple, but it just works. It is just clean as hell. The Godfather of the Sauce, Leroy. Look at it. Look at it. I don't need to say shit. It the the colors are coordinated. Everything matches. Lost a couple of chains. Makes sense. But it dog. I hope to be half this cool when I'm Leroy's age. Half that cool. A quarter that cool. Lily, they, there was a, I think she's a fashion designer, like an actual fashion designer redesigned Lily's outfit and it, it looks dope. Like it looks really good, man. The pink is there cause Lily's, you know, the, the rich girl, the rich French girl kept the old gloves from her original fit, her all white fit, got the thigh highs with the sailor moon boots. <laughs> that shit cool as fuck. But yeah, but this is a really good design. Like this is definitely this this screams wealth. This screams tea. I love I love that shit. Nina, the femme fatale. I don't think anything will ever like replace her look at five. That was just like the Nina look. Um, but this is really good too. I don't hate this. You know, it's like you look like a she looks like a spy, like a femme fatale. You got the fucking anklets with the heels, the Fishnet, fishnet stockings, knife on the thigh, leather jacket, de- decolletage <laughs> with the uh, with the purple dress, sunglasses. She's like a mom, if she is, but like th- this is like su- this is like cool parent, cool fucking parent outfit. I-, I love it. Paul, the real American hero, man. I like. I I might be in the out group here. But I like I like Paul's hair. I got tired of that tall tower hair. It it makes sense. It fits because he's a goofy character. But like I like I like Paul's hair, man. Um, the boots again. We got we gave him some real pants with a strap and then a studded a studded thigh strap. Don't know what that's for. Uh, we gave him a new leather or new jacket because he had a jacket in um the old games. I think he added two, three, and four. 
because it was just part of the biker outfit, but this just looks like a jacket, like a regular ass jacket, bandana, tattered shirt. Why oh, you got that rope, man? Why he got that rope? Why does he have that rope? Raven, another small ass render, man. Raven, this was this was the one that I didn't see coming back. I just knew we were gonna get Master Raven back, but that's cool. Um, it looks the new fit looks like it combines his original fits from five because he had um, a blue outfit with like the red rope tassels and that was his player two costume. But his default outfit was the black suit that he has here and the armor parts. The greaves weren't as big in Tekken five or tag two. Cause that was the last game he was in. But I, I like this man, like super armored high tech ass ninja. He's got more tattoos. Cause he used to just have one on his on one arm. Now he's got them on both. Wesley Snipes is back. I hope DC Douglas voices him again, but like this outfit is just super clean and they're going this crazy for like the regular fits. I can't wait to see what the customization of the player two outfits looks like. That shit gonna be dumb. Zhao Yu. This is very in line for Zhao Yu, right? Looks again, looks like an upgrade from her seven fit, you know, very, very traditional, very Chinese, like a shorter, uh, cheap how with the martial arts shoes, the Phoenix fucking, Playful Phoenix bullshit in her play style and it's all over her goddamn clothes, but it's cool. I like the I like the color scheme. A very Halloween. Orange and black just always works well together. It's just a, it's a really cool fit. Definitely an upgrade. So as it turns out, there were some that I had to go download because they dropped them for the characters that they revealed um at Gamescom. So yeah, this part is a little bit after I finished recording the other part, but Dragon Off, best outfit to date. And I thought the seven one was the best outfit to date, but this is incredible. Still got, still got the jacket, got a little fur coat around it. <sighs> got the, uh, the tactical shirt, the belt with the skull, some pants, some boots, you know, for like a world a world in conflict, this is the least militaristic he's looked. Also, just to belabor a point about the whole men and women age thing, Dragonov is 27. 27 year old man. Military, Russian, but still 27 nonetheless. Up next is Kuma, and he he has taken on his master's outfit. I I don't know what else to say. Like other before this, he was just a bear. Now he's wearing like hey Hachi's gi. He's got his ankles and wrists taped up. The headband is or the his belt is his headband. If you want to play hey Hachi, I can almost assure you Kuma is gonna have most of his old moves. Leo, I like Leo's fits, and this is no exception to the other rule. Like. There's, there's just so many straps and buckles and shit. Traditional red jacket, jeans, uh, knee-high boots, because she is an explorer. And it, it's just, it's, again, they didn't stray too far from the formula, but there are enough changes where I would actually say this is a different fit. Tekken 7, like she had like a, like a mace, like a chain and a spike ball hanging from her wrist and foot. Again, don't know what that was about, but... I, I prefer the much more traditional Leo look. Shaheen. I didn't hate his Tekken 7 look. You know, it made sense. It was very Arabic, very fitting, but this is dope as shit. You got contrasted colors all over the place. The the ankle braces with some new shoes. Um, The blue scarf. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sucker for like scarves and, and hoodies. That's my shit in real life. No different in video games. With the red um, shemag, I think that's what it's called, and like a, a fucking headband, a headpiece to the side, clean, clean ass fit. Stephen Fox, keeping keeping with the tradition of Japanese people putting a Union Jack on everybody from England or Britain. Doesn't matter. You're getting the Union Jack. 
I like the fit. I like this fit because it kind of goes back to um, it's a combination of like his Tekken four and Tekken five outfits. In five, um, it was the white shirt with the red pants. In four, he had a light blue shirt with um, I believe the pants were still white, but they they took that and then put like a, like a um, like a commander's coat over it <laughs> with the symbol that was on his shirt wrist chain that connects to the shirt for some reason, because Japan also the, the boxing shoes and some belt straps. I, I fucks with it. Hate Steve. Fuck the, fuck with the outfit though. Yoshimitsu, the ninja, the cosplayer elite himself. I, when I first saw it, I thought it was just a remix of, um, his Tekken three outfit. But, after after having some time with it, like this is cool. In Tekken, like he's always had like super extravagant outfits. I think Tekken Seven was probably the most extravagant. Dude looked like a space squid. I yeah, sure. <laughs> um, the bl light blue armor, the red red lights, red undertones, the the shinobi pants tucked into the shoes. He got the feats is out. <laughs> Like this is this is clean. Yoshimitsu at this point has to be like fifty or sixty something, because as far as Tekken lore is concerned, this has been the same Yoshimitsu since Tekken One. Like the only time we've ever gotten a new Yoshimitsu was in the Soul Calibur series. This has been the same dude since nineteen ninety four in every tournament. But I I like the fit. I I do like this. I'm not gonna play Yoshimitsu, but I like I like this fit a lot. So yeah, that's going to about do it. I went back to Horang because, you know, that's the main, gets the most screen time. But um, yeah, let me know what y'all think about the outfits. Uh, let me know if my judgment is wrong, if my taste is mid. Uh, subscribe to the Patreon. Again, patreon.com backslash Black Plague Podcast. We over there reading fanfics. It gets wild. It's hilarious. But again, I appreciate all y'all subbing up, staying with me for the content. Uh, probably have another video out before the end of this week, talking about some stuff that's going on in the Sonic community, but that will be that. I will see you when I see you. Peace.